I'm Dr. Daniel Carr, Director of the Elks Children's Eye Clinic at OHSU. Thank you for participating in the vision screening program. This important activity can prevent loss of vision or even permanent blindness in children. Vision screenings are used to identify treatable conditions during childhood when interventions can have a positive effect. The condition you will be screening for is called amblyopia. Let's take a minute to discuss this visual problem. Amblyopia is the most common visual disorder in children and young adults. The word itself comes from a Greek term meaning dull eye, and the condition is often referred to by a layperson as lazy eye. On average, amblyopia affects one child in every classroom. Amblyopia can only develop in the first few years of life. Typically, it results from three causes, blockage of vision, misaligned eyes, and unequal eye power. Let's discuss each one briefly. Perhaps the most common cause of amblyopia is unequal focusing power between the two eyes. In this case, one eye is usually more farsighted than the other. The blurry image from the weaker eye prevents the child's visual system from developing normally. This problem can be very difficult to detect because the eyes appear perfectly straight and look perfectly normal. So these children are often identified too late for treatment. Because their amblyopia is not obvious, vision screening is particularly essential for these children. Early detection is the best way to ensure that they have a lifetime of good vision. Amblyopia can also be caused, much less frequently, when vision is blocked by a cataract, droopy lid, or another similar cause. In this case, the developing eye sees no image and the visual development is prevented entirely. These conditions must be corrected as quickly as possible before amblyopia treatment can begin. Finally, visual development can be delayed because the eye is turned, usually inward. This misalignment is called strabismus and often alerts the child's family and physician to the need for a referral and treatment. Treating amblyopia involves encouraging the child to increase their use of the weaker eye. This can involve patching the better eye several hours each day or placing a drop in the better eye to blur the vision. Treatment may be required for several weeks or even months. The goal of screening is to detect amblyopia as early in life as possible. Early detection will offer the best chance for successful treatment and improved visual outcome. Your Plus Optics S12 testing kit should include the following. Carrying case with shoulder strap, the Plus Optics S12 device, a neck strap, an SD card, a power cord and power adapter, and six rechargeable batteries. You should also familiarize yourself with the Plus Optics S12 hardware. 12 volt power input, SD card slot, USB card slot, on off button, touch screen, shutter, and on the back of the unit, the battery compartment with six rechargeable standard AA batteries. Additionally, you may need a pair of non-polarized flat sunglasses for testing children with dark pupils. Also, make sure your batteries are fully charged. It's best to fully charge them 24 hours before testing. If the batteries are completely dead, they will need to be replaced or charged using a battery charger. To screen a child, begin by pressing the power button. If the SD card is not placed into the device already, then insert the SD card upside down into the device. Before screening a child, you first need to either find the child's information on the device or enter it if the child is not in the database. If you would like to preload data into the device, please watch the video called Importing Data. To find a child's information, press Enter Data. Then select first name and enter the name of the child. As you type, the device will attempt to match existing names in the database. Once the name of the child you are screening appears with the correct date of birth, then select that entry. The child's name will appear in the screen's upper left corner. You can now begin the screening by pressing the orange shutter button. If a child's name is not in the database, you will have to enter it. First, select Age and Months, then select Enter Data. Enter the child's date of birth, then enter the first name followed by the last.
Press the green check mark to save the child's information into the device, or you can simply press the orange shutter button to begin the screening. Before screening, dim the light in the room and position yourself approximately four feet from the child. Hold the device at the child's eye level and press the orange shutter button. The warble sound attracts the child's attention to the device. Align the device so you can see both of the child's eyes on the screen. Move slowly toward the child until green circles appear around their pupils. A green line will appear between the pupils when the correct distance is achieved. The measurement begins automatically. A ping sound indicates a successful screening. The screening result will appear at the bottom of the screen and is automatically saved to the SD card. Next, complete the screening information sheet, making sure you mark the electronic screening results at the bottom of the form with either a pass or refer. Remember to complete the recommendation at the bottom of the form, passed, rescreen needed, or take child to eye doctor. Note that during a screening, you may receive an error message. If the error message reads, too much infrared ambience light, you will need to dim the lights in the room or shade the windows. If the error message reads, camera did not detect pupils, make sure hair and eyelashes are not blocking eyes. You may also need to place a pair of non-polarized flat sunglasses over the child's eyes. This will help make the pupils bigger and make them easier for the device to read. If any of the above error messages continue to appear and the device cannot perform a measurement, you can screen using the LEA distance chart and the stereopsis method. Please see our instruction video on how to perform a distance screen and stereo test located on the Elks Children's Eye Clinic Vision Screening website. Thank you once again for your interest and participation in the Vision Screening Project.